You are so smart. You are so nice. You are such a sweet boy. Hi, welcome to Bilingual Family TV, the place to be if you want to create meaningful relationships with your child while learning Spanish. And today we're going to talk about praise versus encouragement. In order to illustrate the difference between encouragement and praise, I'm going to give you an example of each approach. So let's do praise. You are smart. You're an artist. You are so nice. You are so helpful. You are a good boy. You are fast. Now, what happens with these phrases is that they're stagnant, they're fixed, they are facts about you and that's who you are. Um, and this can cause an issue because once you believe you're a certain way, um, maybe you're told that you're smart because you were able to solve a very simple math problem. And so once you come to a difficult math problem, you're, you're going to say, well, I'm smart. If I can't figure this out, then I must not be smart. Or um, maybe this is just too difficult because I am smart. I should be able to figure this out easily. So that's a problem. You know, if you, if you believe that the way that you are is set and fixed and there is no, there's no way to improve or there's no way to change that, um, then you won't grow. And that's, that's what we're here for. We're here to grow. Now, I'm going to give you examples of encouragement. I noticed that you spent a lot of time working on that puzzle. That's determination. You stayed focused on your homework for 30 minutes. You studied every day for that math test and you got a good grade. It took some effort. Can you see the difference now? We are focusing on the effort, on, on the time that it took, or on the work that you put into to get to that final destination. So when you focus on the effort, you get a much better result long term. Because, for example, if we go back to the example I gave earlier of the math problem, if you have been told that you work hard, that you put in the, the time, the dedication to achieve, say, that easy problem, then when you come to a difficult math problem, you know that you're capable of doing it because you are a hard worker and because you have determination. So that is the biggest difference between praise and encouragement. And of course, we want to build our children up. We want to, um, we want to build our students up but we want to do it in a way that will help them in the future, where they see that they have to put in an, the effort and that they have to grow. So one book that I absolutely love, it's called Mindset. It's Carol Dweck's book, Mindset. And Mindset talks about two types of mindset, the fixed mindset and the growth mindset. And while this original book was not focused on children, and it was more focused on adults and how if we want to grow, if we want to improve our lives, we need to adopt the growth mindset. I think it's very important to see it and see how it starts in childhood. So we have a great opportunity as parents and educators to build that growth mindset um, in our students or in our children through encouragement instead of praise. So I hope that you enjoy that. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, leave them in the comments below. If you like this video, give it a super me encanta, share it with your friends. And if you want even more resources, head over to bilingualfamily.us and sign up for our newsletter. Thank you so much for watching. And remember, second language acquisition is all about relationships. Adios.